Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video describes a system platform tool called ARM Configuration. It will show the various options that can be configured and usage interactions. This video will demonstrate how to utilize the Alarm Configuration Tool in the System Platform Web Console. The Alarm Configuration Tool will allow for values to be set to monitor CPU usage, disk statistics, network I.O., and Web Console parameters to generate an SNMP trap to secure Access Link, SAL, and other management consoles as desired by the customer. Another Avaya Mentor video details the Performance Statistics tool, which references many of these same values. I will also speak to some interactions that should be looked at while in the process of provisioning the alarm configuration. I have logged into the System Platform Web Console. The template installed is the solution for the mid-size enterprise. My first suggestion is to verify the first of the interactions I noted. I have opened the Server Management and System Configuration link. Near the bottom of the page is the Statistics Collection dialog. That particular selection is enabled by default, but as you can see it can be disabled. If it is disabled, the alarming and performance statistic functions will not be available. As it is enabled now, I will go on to the alarming configuration screens. From the Server Management section, of the menu on the left, I am selecting the alarm configuration link to open that tool. The panel displayed shows all the options that can be modified. The screen as displayed shows all the pre-configured defaults. The values are the engineered values and care should be exercised if changes are to be made. It is suggested to be performed only at the direction of an Avaya engineer. There are five columns in the table. They are the alarm itself, limit value, the for value, suppression period, and enabled. The definition of each is as follows. Limit value is a point where an alarm condition could exist and working with that limit is the for value which is an amount of time the limit value condition must be exceeded to be considered an alarm. The next field is the suppression period which carries a default value of 24 hours. What that indicates is if an error occurs twice in a 24-hour period or is present for 24 hours, a single SNMP trap is sent. If the condition is present past the 24 hours, a second trap is sent in the 25th hour. The final column is labeled Enabled, which if there is a check in the checkbox, that parameter will send a trap when the value is exceeded. I will not be changing any values but simply disabling the web console alarms. I have pressed the save button. These alarms now are not eligible for reporting and trapping in the condition that we just set. I have selected the SNMP trap receiver configuration link. The final step we will look at is to provision a second trap receiver which could be a customer's network management system. This step is a second interaction to be aware of. I am typing the address of the NMS and accepting the rest of the defaults and have pressed the Add SNMP Trap Receiver button. After the addition has completed, I have slid down the page and note the second address has been added. Please note that the address shown ending in 76.225 is the defaulted Secure Access Link SAL IP address of the internal SAL gateway. That address is provisioned by the System Platform Installer at initial install. In closing, the alarm configuration values should not be adjusted except under direction of engineering. The tool is there but needs to be used very carefully. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.